A new American Red Cross survey shows only 56% of adults who can swim also know how to perform five critical water safety skills, and the number decreases even more when you factor in children. So, being it's National Safety Month, it seemed only appropriate to bring in Rita Goldberg, CEO and founder of the British Swim School, to show us some water survival skills. Rita, thanks so much for coming in. You are very welcome. I'm glad you're highlighting this problem. <laughs> now, your swim school actually pioneered some sort of out-of-the-box swim tips. Why did you go about doing that and how did you go about doing it? Oh my goodness, it's a long time ago, but we realized, I, I taught basically um, in England before mm -hmm. I actually emigrated to America. And in England we didn't start swimming lessons technically until about the age of four to five. And it was great, you know, we taught them to swim and in the normal way, but we were having accident you know the world was getting much more open to people you could go out on more vacations there were more pools and of course there were more drownings and it got younger and younger and I thought well if we're teaching four-year-olds why should we not teach three-year-olds and we did and it was quite successful and then when we started to go to the under threes we realized we couldn't do it in the same way children under three cannot come up for air if they're swimming forward their head weight body weight out of bounds. So I started to play with it and to work on it and I found that if we taught a reaction of a shoulder turn the children who were going forward instead of coming and it became what we do and it became the, in my opinion, the biggest advance in survival swimming for the very young. Drowning is silent. Children fall in and or even adults and go onto their faces. Right, even with adults, I spoke to a lifeguard about this the other day and they were saying that people imagine drowning to be this, you flap around, you make big splashes, you scream, no, no. and it's actually you just very slowly sink yes. under the water. Yes. So what that lifeguard was saying is looking out of all the people splashing around, I look for the people who are silent. Yes, he's very smart and it's not very well known. You're absolutely right. And especially with the child because the child, uh, you know, an adult knows what's happening to them. The child doesn't. And if it hasn't got this ability to roll over mm -hmm. and, and float, it just literally is sucking water and sucking water and cannot make itself heard at all. And of course that then makes it even more necessary to be so vigilant in terms of watching your children. And I know you designed what you call here the water watcher. Now this just looks like a little piece of plastic, but you say this actually can save lives. Explain Without how. Doubt. Well, as we said, drowning is very often silent. And the biggest number of drownings tend to happen around pools with parents or guardians or adults very, very close by because of the silence nobody's watching and everybody thinks that everybody else is watching. Of course. So what we designed is what we call as you say our water watchers. These are your designated driver. This is what you if you are wearing it are responsible for eyes on the pool watching the pool. Now in the middle of your session of watching you need the bathroom. You hand this over to the next person. It's a, it's a responsibility badge mm -hmm. so that nobody thinks that somebody else is watching. Everybody knows I'm the one who's watching Absolutely. or so-and-so is watching Absolutely. and next it'll be my turn. And, and it's so important because I think we could cut the drownings in. And so what are your top five safety tips for, for parents, uh, you know, of adults and children this, mm -hmm. this season? Mm -hmm. I think it's vigilance has to be number one. Whatever we do in the way of teaching can always be um, second second to parental or adult vigilance. Mm -hmm. The next, in my opinion, is to, to take very, very young, whether you're an adult, you know, get started, or a mom or dad, get started with your child very young. It not just teaches the child, it teaches you as a parent. Of course. We, we have rules and we have a pledge on, on the British Swim School website for people to take, which is an awareness. Don't leave the pool area. Don't put um, toys, big toys, round the pool. Be very aware of safety. Put alarms on your doors, fences. If you're a teenager, obey the rules. You know, don't dive into a pool. The number of terrible neck injuries for diving into unknown water when mm. jumping, if the worst happens, would break a leg. But of course, accidents do happen. So I know you brought these mannequins in to show us a few tips of, of how to get yourself and your children out of trouble if you do find yourself right. there. Well, show us a little bit of that. It's not so much out of trouble, but it, the things that we want to do is get you used to getting your child wet okay. and under the water. And one of the things that we do, when a child falls into water, it goes down, 
but it always comes up. Every adult, child, or anyone in water is full of air. Okay. So, so they come first up. you're going to float. Absolutely. But what happens next is the problem. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the child or an adult who is taking in water. Right. And because of the weight of what they're taking in and the they silence of it, yes. So what we do when that child goes into water and comes up, mm -hmm. where the child turns its shoulder and goes onto its back. Okay. It looks very simple. And it's, it, it, it isn't. It's a form of teaching which is skilled. It's done by our staff who are highly trained to okay. do this. But we know that when we're teaching through the parent, these are the things the parent can do in the holiday time, in the vacation time, or take the child as well. And so, sort of review, oh, that kind of thing. Just practice. And it really isn't that difficult. And the children, if you start young enough, are extremely open to it. You know, babies don't mm -hmm. have fear. And that's the time to start. All right. Well, Rita, thank you so much. Those are so, such great tips. For more information on the British Swim School, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.